Welcome to Kids Fishing. Welcome to this episode of Kids Fishing. Have you ever wondered when you've been fishing at a location what the seabed is like, whether there's rocks and weed, and where the fish are located, and maybe where the best place to cast your line is? Today I'm going to talk to you about the benefits of checking out your kids fishing location at low tide. One of the things to think about is where the rocks are and where the underwater terrain is. And the only way you can really see that at a beach is to go down at low tide. Now there's a couple of reasons why that's important. One of those is that it allows you to see where all the potential snags and underwater hazards are so that you can avoid those when you're fishing. Also fish like to use terrain and often you'll see where fish are surfacing or where fish are located is based on the rocks and underwater seaweed and other things that they tend to hide around or swim close to or where the food sources are. So being able to understand the nature of the underwater terrain and therefore be able to fish that when the tide comes in is quite useful. I remember when I was a young child I used to come down to the rocks at low tide for a couple of reasons. One was to be able to get bait so often on the low rock area you'll find uh, shellfish which can, which can be used for bait but also you can find a lot of tackle where other people have actually snagged the rocks and I remember coming down and finding tackle and that was a great way to get free fishing tackle. It also allows you the opportunity to work out what's going to be the best tackle to use in that location. Should you use a sinker on the bottom, hooks on the top, a float, what's going to be the best rig to fit the area that you're going to be fishing and avoiding getting snags. I'd like to know what your thoughts are about coming down to the low water mark at low tide and checking out the location before you fish. Leave your comments below, and if this is your first time to kids fishing, then I invite you to subscribe for more fishing tips and tricks, and to follow our kids fishing adventures. Thanks for watching this episode of Kids Fishing.